Chapter 1 Cornish Piskies In the staff room of Penzance Secondary School, it is the end of the last day of the summer term. Amelia Edwards, the headmistress, is putting coffee cups into a dishwasher. She turns to Oliver Bailey, who is a PE teacher, and also her younger brother. What are you doing this evening, Ollie? I think I'll go to the beach and catch some waves. Oh, you're so lucky. I have to have a meeting with Peter at seven o'clock. Beatrix Anderson, who is the school librarian, has been sitting in a comfortable chair reading a book. She looks at Amelia. I'm pleased that you and Peter are talking to each other again. Oliver nods. Yeah, that's brilliant. It's not what you think. We're having a meeting to talk about getting a divorce. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you're breaking up. Yes, that's terrible. I always liked Peter. Oliver puts his hand on Amelia's shoulder. Listen, sis, before I go surfing, I need to check out the waves. We could go for a walk on the cliff path. I promise you'll be home before seven o'clock. Oh, I don't know. Oliver looks over at Beatrix, who is still reading her book. Hey, Miss Bookworm. Why don't you come for a walk with us too? The summer holidays start today. Let's get out into that sunshine. Okay. If you promise I will be home before seven o'clock, I will come for a walk with you. I promise. Oliver looks at Beatrix. What about Miss Bookworm? If you promise to stop calling me Miss Bookworm, I'll come for a walk with you. Okay. I promise, Beatrix. They leave the staff room together. Ten minutes later, they are on the cliff path. Amelia is wobbling a bit on her high heels. Beatrix smiles happily. All of us have six whole weeks off. It's such a lovely feeling, isn't it? Definitely. I would rather take my holidays whenever I choose, rather than having to take them at the same time every year. <laughs> oh, sis. You're never happy, are you? Oliver puts his arm around his sister, but she pushes him away. I didn't say I wasn't happy. I was just saying... I was only joking, sis. Oliver looks at the waves. The surf looks pretty good from up here. But I should go down to have a closer look. You ladies keep walking. I'll catch you up. Oliver sets off down to the beach. Amelia and Beatrix keep walking. Listen, Amelia. I'm sorry to hear about you and Peter breaking up. Thanks, B. But let's not talk about my problems. Why don't you tell me about your plans for the holidays? Well, I have an idea. Yes? I'm going to write a book during the summer. Really? That's a great idea. Thanks. What will you write about? I'm going to write about the myths and legends of Great Britain. There are so many wonderful stories from all over the UK. I think a librarian like you is the best person to write a book like that. Thanks, Amelia. Suddenly, the path becomes two paths. There's a sign pointing down the narrower of the two paths. Amelia sets off down the narrower path. 
Beatrix looks down the other, wider path and looks unsure. Wait a minute, Amelia. I think it might be this way. No, it can't be. The sign says it's this way. Amelia keeps walking. The path gets rockier and rockier. Beatrix decides she had better follow her. She runs to catch up. I think this might be the wrong way. Don't be silly, B. The sign definitely pointed in this direction. I know what the sign said, but... Dark clouds suddenly start to cover the sun. They both look at the sky. It looks like it's going to rain, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Wow. Can you see those strange little lights dancing along the path? Amelia shakes her head and laughs. What are you talking about to be? Beatrix looks again. Oh, they're gone. Didn't you see them, Amelia? No, I didn't see anything. Suddenly, they hear the sound of running feet. Oliver runs down the rocky path towards them. Ladies, you've gone the wrong way. This path is very dangerous. Amelia turns to Oliver. She looks annoyed. It's not the wrong path. We followed the sign. Well, the sign was pointing the wrong way, sis. This path has been really dangerous. Since some of the cliffs were washed away in the last storm. If you keep walking this way, you could easily fall off the edge. Don't be silly. Come on, I'll show you. Amelia walks as quickly as she can back towards the sign. Oliver and Beatrix follow her. Soon they are standing looking at the sign. See? It points that way. Yes. But that's the wrong way. But why would the sign point the wrong way? Beatrix speaks quietly. I think this must have been the work of the Cornish Piskies. The what? Cornish Piskies are cheeky little elves who lead travellers in the wrong direction. People say they are tiny lights dancing around getting people lost. <laughs> That's silly. Remember I saw those funny lights? Amelia shakes her head. I didn't see them. Remember I said I'm going to write a book about the myths and legends of Great Britain? Are you? That's great. Thanks. Yes. I'm going to write a book about myths and legends from all over the UK. And this is my first story. The story of the Cornish Piskies that led us up the wrong path. Right here in Penzance. Amelia starts to smile. Well, I suppose that is quite a good story. And it was right here in Penzance. But where will you find the other stories for your book? Well, I'm going to travel around the country, visiting all the places where the stories come from. That's exciting. You must be really excited. Beatrix shakes her head. No, really I know I'm too scared to go on a journey like that by myself. Amelia looks annoyed again. Don't be silly, B. Of course you should go. Suddenly, Beatrix smiles. Amelia looks at her. What are you smiling about? 
Well, I was just thinking. I'm too scared to go alone. But if I had some brave and clever friends with me, I could definitely go on the trip. Amelia and Oliver look at each other. They are both thinking the same thing. Oliver speaks slowly. How about a clever headmistress and a brave PE teacher? Amelia, Oliver, and Beatrix walk slowly back to school. All three of them are lost in their own dreams, dreams of an adventure and a summer of stories. In the next video, you'll see me as Avril. I'm a tourist from the U.S. and will join the group.